Hello everyone, readers A30 back with some mail. First of all, a couple of things I got yesterday. And the first one is a mini bicycle rider back. It's kind of like a dark bluish color. Blue, dark blue. I don't think I had one this color, so I figured might as well. It's vintage. I don't know what year, but it's Cincinnati. So there's that. And I also got from Stengali Co. We did Skull and Dagger. Nice enough deck. Today I got a couple more eBay ones. This one is the Rembrandt. Figured, check it out. Made in Canada. It's got pretty nice back design. You can see there. It is kind of a bridge-sized plastic coated deck. But uh, it's actually in really good condition. Looks like. Yeah, very interesting back design. And. Of course it is kind of used, I guess, but it's in good condition. It's open the least. And I also got another Pepsi deck, probably the last one I get for it, that I plan on getting at least. It's nice enough. Uh designed. It's pointed by part of Moon Day, I believe. Yeah. So yeah, why not? And I got some stuff that is actually not well, technically it's playing cards, technically it's not. It's some stuff I ordered from Walmart. First of all, I got Monopoly Deal. I've been on the fence about this one for a long time, so I finally decided to go for it. Seems like it's pretty cool. I also got Uno Flip. I do have the, you know, traditional Uno. Uno. I've played it for since I was a kid. I always liked it. And this one looks pretty cool. Speaking of Uno, I also got this. The 50th Anniversary Collector's Edition. That looks pretty cool. Let's see. Open that up. It has a magnetic latch. Let me open it up. And there is instructions and a couple of languages here and the cards with a large commemorative coin it's pretty cool and it's actually a part of the game you can see compared to the <laughs> mini deck it's almost the same size so it's pretty big yeah very happy with this so that is it for today um, could be some more coming this week. We'll see. Stay tuned. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Hello, everyone. We just have pretty to back with some more mail. First of all, um, an interesting one from a casino in Canada, in Quebec. Casino, the uh, Casino de Salvois. <laughs> and it's printed by a printing company in Quebec, Graphica. And decent quality. The most interesting thing about this is that they use French style court cards, which is pretty cool. And sadly, it's cancelled. It's also, well, actually, it does have a linen finish. I thought it was just a smooth finish, but I think it has a bit of embossed to it. It's alright. <laughs> Not as bad as the one I got yesterday, which is all stuck together, but it is what it is. And then I got this from eBay, which is the Hellcats. Which is based on this, what is it, Blue Angels? That's pretty cool. My custom gambler was a Kickstarter project. And apparently the uh, ladies at the post office want to see me. I got some stuff to pick up. Probably Friday, so stay tuned for that. And I do have something coming tomorrow from Point Card Dex. Should be here tomorrow, anyways. So yeah, that is it for today. We'll see you next time with more. Hello, everyone. We just refer to back with some mail to end of the week. I just picked up four different packages from two different post offices. <laughs> two from one because I had them ship there, and two from another because I had to go sign for them 
So, <laughs> yeah. First of all, from Low Trek, it is the Morask. Which, of course, like most of his decks, had some delays, but here it is, finally. It's pretty nice. Obviously, it's a counterpart to the Arabesque. And, yeah, pretty nice. Then I got a couple from Amazon. The first one is Lingo French, second edition. Parlez-vous Francais. <laughs> and we'll, we'll try to pick up a language. I do got some oldies coming from Penguin Magic in a couple other languages. They're all basically second editions. I don't know why I got them, but I did. And then, also from Amazon, this is actually from Gent Supply Co. It is the Mecha Beasts. Sounds interesting. Nice foily tuck case. And then, I got some stuff here from this place. I'm totally going to butcher the name, Cortlex Bulleget. Check them out on social media. They sent a signed ad card. Jimmy. This one, Jimmy. And I want to thank Jimmy for uh, helping me out with this. He has this website, but they don't usually sit outside of Scandinavia. But he was kind enough to figure it all out and ship it to me, so I appreciate it. And he also sent a pen. Pretty cool. Well, thank you very much for the pen. You could always use uh, another pen. It was pretty nice. And the decks I got are some Anglo decks that I hadn't seen anywhere else. There's some other retailers that I know that sell Anglo decks that I got some from recently, but I haven't seen these. These are multicolor polka decks for different colored suits. Just fairly standard backs and that's not it because there's also some bridge size decks that are definitely sweetest <laughs> and I got very interesting court cards you see right there and the backs also very interesting kind of reminiscent of some of their rug back decks and on the side I want to show you that they have the, the suits and the court cards they got the nave and they got an E for aces. I'm not sure what's up with that. What the E? <laughs> Anyways. So that is it for this week, I think. Unless something else shows up. But I'm not expecting anything. So we'll see you next time next week with more. So we're getting more next week, of course. As usual. So that is it. Uh, can't wait to subscribe. We'll see you next time with more. Thanks for watching.